I'm uh, Mike Sermonaro. I'm co-founder, president, and CEO of this wonderful company called Thrombolex. Uh, we're very excited about uh, the business. It's been a great week here at LSI. Uh, had a really interesting meeting earlier this week with a venture capitalist who said something that stuck with me. He said, Mike, being an entrepreneur of a startup is one of the most difficult things that you can do. He said that 90% of these companies don't make it, which I think everybody here probably knows. He also said one of the main reasons is because these are companies that in the first several years you feel like you're walking around in darkness and it's easy to feel like you've been buried. And he said it's those entrepreneurs who are thinking outside of the box, who are disruptors, who really change their mindset and understand they haven't been buried, they've just been planted. And Thrombolex was planted in 2016. And since 2016, we are now a revenue, um, early revenue company. We develop interventional tools that face off against the venous thromboembolic market. We've got a disruptive platform technology with a breakthrough therapy. And we've demonstrated absolute best in class clinical and safety data relative to our technology. And we face off against a large and growing market opportunity. So what's the problem? The problem is that in the venous thromboembolic market, there's a tremendous unmet clinical need. It's a disease state that's defined by very high mortality, very high morbidity. It affects over 900,000 people in the United States alone. It's one of the leading causes of mortality. Every six minutes in the United States, somebody dies from a blood clot. And the more important aspect of this, it's the number one cause of preventable death in the hospital. So what's the solution? The solution is a novel pharmacomechanical lysis technology, an over-the-wire drug delivery catheter that has a expandable nitinol infusion basket at the distal end that many physicians have called elegantly simple. It's a true platform technology and today, we have four purpose-built uh, devices that are FDA-approved for the treatment of pulmonary embolism, four purpose-built devices that are FDA-approved for the treatment of deep vein and arterial thrombosis, and as importantly, in early revenue, we have an 89% gross profit margin. We have a highly experienced management team with a bold vision to change the treatment pathology for venous thromboembolic disease. These are folks that have been around the cardiovascular space for decades. They've been involved in the very first development of the very first cardiovascular stent, the very first drug-eluting stent, and the very first TAVR platform, as well as the very first interventional technology for treatment of venous thromboembolic disease. As a result of this experience management team, we've been able to bring to market eight FDA cleared devices on a budget of less than $30 million. We've recently received a grant from the state of Pennsylvania Department of Health that's actually going to allow us to increase our manufacturing capacity by fourfold at no cost to Thrombolex. And today we're seeking $15 to $20 million in what will be our first institutional round of funding. In terms of our reimbursement, a number of years ago, as a result of our ability to fragment clot, we received uh, brand new fragmentation codes from CMS that have increased reimbursement for us over 100% for the treatment of deep vein thrombosis and over 150% for the treatment of pulmonary embolism. We have a robust global intellectual property portfolio with 25 granted patents, 13 published patents, and 12 patents pending and we have a clean freedom to operate opinion. At the tail end of 2022, we completed our pivotal clinical study called Rescue. The purpose of that study was to treat acute um, pulmonary embolism. That was a study that developed and created the absolute best clinical and safety data in our industry and compared to any contemporary PE clinical study to date. We haven't rested on our laurels, and we recently developed a brand new breakthrough therapy, which is an on-the-table treatment for pulmonary embolism in the cath lab. As a result of that, we've launched 
a brand new clinical study called Rapid PE. The therapy calls for a significantly shorter treatment time, about 30 minutes in the cath lab on the table, no ongoing infusion. We've eliminated completely the need for an ICU stay. We've reduced the lytic dosage to only four milligrams, and that compares to 100 milligrams approved by the FDA for systemic thrombolysis. As a result, we believe we're driving a paradigm shift in the treatment of pulmonary embolism. The really important aspect here that gives me a tremendous amount of excitement is the interventional penetration that we've seen across the entirety of the cardiovascular space. If you think about MI today, 90% of these patients are getting some form of interventional treatment. For AAA stent grafts, it's 70%. For heart valve replacement, I can remember less than 10 years ago, you had to be on your deathbed or you couldn't survive open heart surgery, otherwise you couldn't get that type of treatment. Today, 85% of heart valve replacements are being done with a TAVR or interventional technology. In our space, for the treatment of venous thromboembolic disease, it's only 13% interventionally penetrated. There's a massive opportunity for this to grow to 20, 30, 40% over the next decade. And what's gonna get you there? An easy to use technology that's better in terms of clinical data and safer. We face off against a very large and growing market opportunity. The current market opportunity is well over a half a billion dollars a year. If interventional penetration grows to just 35% over the next several years, that creates a U.S. market that's over $1.6 billion. That's a global market opportunity of over $3 billion. And if the data continues to be as impressive as our rescue data, we're going to have an opportunity to increase our average selling price, which today is the single lowest ASP in our industry. That's going to drive even further total addressable market opportunities for us. We've got very strong early growth in terms of revenue. Last year, we received our um, FDA clearance for the treatment of pulmonary embolism, and as a result, we saw a 60% growth in revenue. So far this year, in the first two months, we've seen a 209% increase in revenue, and we're on our way to continued triple-digit growth. I mentioned earlier we have an 89% gross profit margin. We also have a pathway to another two to 300 basis points of margin improvement simply from ongoing growth in our revenue. That's gonna lead us towards a very quick um, and short break-even timeline, less than three years, and we're gonna see continued growth and accelerated profitability within our business. In summary, we've developed a disruptive platform technology with a breakthrough therapy approach scalable manufacturing capabilities, robust intellectual property. We face off against a large and growing market opportunity. And we've developed a technology that is helping patients and giving them better quality of life. We're seeing better outcomes, and we're hopeful that we're gonna see significantly better mortality. And as a result, we feel like we're holding in our hands an opportunity to potentially change the world. So thank you.